أعوذ بالله السميع العليم شيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله القائل إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد وبارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما صليت بركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد اللهم إن أسألك أم النافية ونعوذ بك من أم لا ينفع اللهم نور قلوبنا اللهم تحق قلوبنا من الرياء والنفاق وصلى الله على سيدنا ونبينا محمد وعلى آله وسلم والحمد لله رب العالمين Beloved brothers and sisters in faith uh, we are now on hadith number 20 on Silsilat al-Ibriz bi Sallat al-Aziz Musa sallab al-Ithra going through the riwaya of Abu Muhammad al-Hassan al-Bakhi al-Husseini ranu an going back through his forefathers, back to Sayyidina Ali, Akram Allah Ta'ala Wajah, uh, and uh, Abu Muhammad al-Hassan uh, al-Bawkhi, al-Husseini, of course, al-Husseini meaning a descendant of Hussein ibn Ali, who was the son of Fatima al-Zahra al-Batul, uh, the most virtuous woman of this ummah, the daughter of al-Habib al-Mustafa Muhammad, Salawatullahi wa salamuhu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sahbihi rashidin. So, hadith number 20, uh, we will read the hadith and do the uh, takhrij. Bithin Allah ta'ala, qal nabi sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam, inna mina shahri li hikmah wa inna mina bayani la sihra. Surely from poetry, there is wisdom. And surely from eloquent sweet speech is like magic. Hadith has been narrated uh, in other texts, um, including uh, Ma'nawi from, uh, uh, from Ahmed and Abu Dawood, away from Abdullah ibn Abbas, right on Anhumah. Uh, and uh, it also has been narrated um, in similar wording from Ahmed in another riwayah uh, from Imam Malik, from Imam uh, Abu Khari, uh, Imam Abu Dawood, and Imam uh, Atimadi, rahmatullahi ta'ala alayhim ajma'in, on the authority of Abdullahi ibn uh, Umar ibn al Khattab, wadilahu anhuma. And uh, also, uh, this hadith, uh, besides being narrated in these books, was also narrated by Abu Dawood Tayyalasi in his Musnad. And from the Ithna Ashariya um, through uh, Musalsal the Ithra, um, it goes through uh, Sheikh Saduq and Al-Faqih and Al-Amali by Sheikh Saduq and Al-Mu'a'idh by uh, Al-Saduq, Sheikh Saduq, which actually wasn't his real name. This was a, uh, a laqab or a title, Al-Saduq. Um, and also Al-Majlisi and uh, Bihara and War. Uh, the hadith in itself does not need much exp explanation. We know that um, there are lessons of... of uh, from poetry, in which there is wisdom that people uh, gain that transfers throughout times and ages, that is transmitted to a group of people, and this is not just an Arabic language, but in varying languages, uh, and that uh, this wisdom uh, tends to be memorized by people and transmitted because the nature of poetry is nor normally it has a type of rhyme scheme to it, and therefore becomes um, not uh, difficult to memorize, especially for young people, and it becomes uh, part of the, uh, of the culture. Uh, at least some poetry. Some poetry can also, um, we know, um, dispense anti-social messages, and there's poetry like that uh, in the English language and even... Um, Original rap music is really poetry to a beat or to drum, and we know that all of that does not contain wisdom. Some of it uh, contains uh, uh, ignorance and foolishness. And surely from 
eloquent speech. It is like sihr, uh, like magic, and um, this is the um, the uh, importance of people having grounding, because many of the masses of people can be moved easily like sheep if they find an eloquent person who can speak very well and has charisma and can lead them down the wrong path. Uh, this is the case in regards to a religion where there are eloquent uh, pastors, eloquent uh, reverends who uh, use their eloquence to literally usurp and to devour uh, the wealth of people with their eloquence uh, to get people um, in a state of emotions that they then uh, almost a sense of rapture, then they give up their money. Uh, this even happens in the Muslim community uh, with, with some eloquent speakers, uh, fake peer, fake sheikh, uh, but is very eloquent, but doesn't have proper usul. And uh, the fakir even said this about former President Barack Hussein Obama. Um, I, uh, the fakir actually had to stop listening to him at one point in time because I said this guy's speech, what he says on the surface sounds real convincing and it can mesmerize, but in effect, uh, what he's saying is is bogus. And uh, Sayyidina Ali, Rasulullah Ta'ala uh, Ali, has a saying, uh, so we can uh, extrapolate that, that goes to the Khawarij, where he said, Kalimatu Haq, Yuradu Baha, Batil. And the Khawarij, uh, said that uh, there is no rule except Allah, but they took the meaning out of its place. And the Khawarij were people who appeared to look outwardly pious, uh, who followed the Quran, and amongst them they were very eloquent people. So Sayyidina Ali said, uh, Kalimatu Haq, what they say is the truth, but what they intend behind it is bogus, right? And this is the nature of some eloquent speech can be like magic and we know that magic another word uh another meaning for magic or sihr is actually trickery it's actually deception so uh we ask almighty allah to wa ta'ala to, to have us take the best lessons from poetry that has wisdom and to not take uh from poetry that has foolishness and we ask almighty allah to wa ta'ala to make us be a people who listen with discernment, with discernment, and to not be easily caught up in emotions from tricksters and from charlatans who have eloquent speech. Wa sallallahu ala sayyidina wa nabiyyina Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.